Hi, in this tutorial I'll talk about how to save in GIMP and now I do realize that this may be a little bit boring but it's also one of the most important steps while working in a software like this and uh, if you save incorrectly or make a mistake while saving you may lose hours of work or ruin your digital photographs or images or projects and never be able to recreate them again so you have to be extra careful while you're saving and really know what you're doing and before I continue with the options here I just want to mention that there is a link now in the description where you can go and download for free some of the images that I used in my tutorials and uh, use them to exercise so go there and when you go to the images you click on them then when they open right click and download them because there is no download button for now so if you're interested in that go ahead and visit that link now let's continue with the save options here the first one is save and uh, let's grab the brush tool for a second and do something like this and now if I click save this will automatically say overwrite the original image with this image so if I close GIMP now I will lose my original image and I'll be left with this that's why I'm saying that you have to be extra careful what you're doing and there's some control a keyboard shortcuts here that um, I recommend that you do not use unless you know exactly what you're doing and now of course here I can use control Z to undo that and then save again and I return to the original state of my image but um, if I have done a lot of editing and I don't have enough undo steps I may lose my image so you have to be careful with this now this one save a copy allows you to save a copy of the image but again it's a little bit dangerous because um, if I click save right now this will replace and uh, the original image and again I can uh, do basically the same thing with the save option so here you have to first rename the image or let's say call it save one then click save and uh, apparently I have a save one image too so let's call it two and now I have a copy of the image so you can use this option to uh, make copies of your images and here the next one save as template I discussed this in a previous video so let's jump to revert now sometimes you may have noticed that this option is grayed out uh, to be able to use this option you have to have a file that is saved on your hard drive so when you start a new image and you start creating something and uh, you haven't saved that image yet you will not be able to use the revert option and if you save that image let's say I do some editing here and I save this image now and then I'll revert and then I continue to do something else and then I'll revert I'll go to this state where I saved last so this is how that revert option works and now let's go to save as which is probably one of the most commonly used and uh, important and powerful option here because we have a lot of different uh, file types and extensions that we can use here to save and I'll be discussing this in um, detail in some of the next videos in this one I just want to mention this here file extension XCF which is the native file format for GIMP so this is the extension that you're going to use when you're saving your projects sometimes when you're creating an image you have a lot of layers layer masks and different effects that you have applied and this is how you save your project in this file type this extension and when you open it again everything will be there all your layers everything you have done and you can continue working so this is the native format for GIMP and uh, now in the next tutorial I'll start discussing some other file types here for example JPEG if you click on this let's export this and you see here we have a lot of options which control the quality and the file size 
and some other things here while saving a JPEG. So I will discuss this in the next video in detail. So bye for now.